Hi guys, I'm Jin and Seoul, and today I'm going to show you some creative ways to style detachable colors. I realized I'm going to say the word color a lot, as in like the thing that I'm showing you today. And also the other word I'm gonna say a lot is color, as in like red, green, and blue. So for today, I'm going to say shade instead of color, as in, you know, red, green, and blue. So the first color I'm going to style for you today is this one. It is from Noemia, which I hope I'm saying it right because I don't know any French. Um, I got it through Etsy. It's a Canadian brand. It is available offline through Boutique Unicorn if you live in Montreal. Everybody else just has to get it online. This color is actually a little bit unconventional looking when it comes to detachable colors. A lot of the ones that I've seen are rounded colors, so they look a little bit like giant Peter Pan colors. A lot of them also come with some kind of cottage core ish detail, like ruffles and lace around the edges, but this one doesn't. This one has a square sailor color back, which I am a total sucker for sailor colors, and I could wear it every day if I didn't look like I was cosplaying an anime character. And the last detail that's different from a lot of the colors that I've seen is that this one is transparent, kind of see-through because it's made from silk organza. So hands down, my favorite way to style this color is over a turtleneck top. So the outfit that you're looking at right now, the turtleneck top is just a basic ripped black turtleneck from Loft. The skirt is a knitted lavender color midi skirt which is from Lanvan Collection. It is only available in Korea. It's like a licensed version of the main Lanvan brand. Just as a side note, um, I wear the skirt all the time in the fall. It has this little ruffled side vent that I like to poke my leg through. This outfit, as you're seeing it right now, is probably a little bit more mature looking. It has a lot of muted shades and not a lot of skin is showing unless you count that side vent on my skirt. But by putting on the color like thus, I added a little bit of youthfulness and a touch of a lighter shade with the pink. So now I am looking a little bit more girlish and pink is a color that goes really well with my skin tone. So it's a really good thing to have the pink color frame my face. Even if your color doesn't look like mine, colors with a lot of detail are very young looking. So if you have an outfit that's a little bit more mature looking, but you would like to age it down a little, then definitely try adding your detachable color. It helps to think of detachable colors as essentially a giant necklace, rather than like a part of a garment that's been cut out from another piece of clothing. Another way to wear your color is actually to put them under a set of different, smaller colors. I like to do it under colors that are similarly shaped. So for mine, that would be pointed colors. If you have a set that looks like giant Peter Pan colors, then definitely try putting them under a different set of smaller rounded colors. The shirt that you're looking at right now is also from Lanvan Collection. And it is my favorite shirt to layer my Noemia color under because it is a solid purple shade that belongs to the same color palette as the Noemia color. And it can be a little tricky to style my particular color because it is see-through and it also has a pattern. If I'm wearing it over the shirt, then I don't really have to worry about patterns clashing or colors clashing. But whenever you see me not wearing it with the shirt, you'll probably see me wearing it with other neutral solid colors. This combination is also really cute from the back. The shirt is already like a cocoon shape and the color in the back adds a little bit more bulk so that it looks more oversized. The only thing that you need to watch out for is that you need to choose your shirt pretty carefully because my color, it barely fits over my shirt. And if you are wearing a really thick shirt, then there's a good chance that your color wouldn't fit under that shirt either. I don't think this would be a problem if you have one of those colors that tie in the middle, but mine has a hook and eye closure, so it's not adjustable. This time I have a skinny tie tied to the color like a bow tie. 
To be honest, I admit this can be a little too much because you're wearing two neck accessories at the same time. Also, the color is patterned and skinny scarves usually come with patterns too. So if your color is also patterned, it could be a little bit hard to match. My scarf is from LATS, which is another Korean brand. And you could of course use like a regular packaging ribbon for this purpose if you want something thinner. And this time I tried tying a packaging ribbon from Catbird with their logo on it. It came from my jewelry order. It's really cute. And you can see that this is actually a pretty cute combination too. If your color is one of those that has a tie in the middle, then I don't think a ribbon or a skinny scarf would work that well. What you can do in that case is switch it up and put a brooch in the middle instead of a ribbon or even a skinny scarf. If you have a more cottage core looking color with the Peter Pan shape and ruffles and lace and embroidery and everything, then something like an oval Victorian brooch would go really well with that. And you can find a lot of cute cheap ones on Etsy. And no matter if you're wearing a brooch or a ribbon or a skinny scarf, I would go for a solid color top underneath like this one or obviously a solid color dress without any patterns and that's because you've already got a ton going on around your neck. If you have a mostly white color, put a Victorian brooch on it and then wear black underneath. You can even have like a, you know, dark witchy vibe going. In my experience, these colors tend to slide back a lot while you're wearing them. So putting a little bit of weight right in the front like this can be really helpful in a practical way. I find that my color in particular does that a lot because it has this um, giant thing of fabric in the back. Since I put a ribbon on this, hopefully the ribbon is counteracting this way and pulling it forward. The second color I have today is this one. It actually used to belong to my mom so it's like over 10 years old and that's why it doesn't necessarily look like colors that are fashionable right now. And obviously since my mom gave it to me, I didn't have to pay for this. Thanks mom! I keep saying my mom is actually better at fashion than me. You know, how many, how many moms were predicting, oh, I'm gonna get a detachable color and keep it for 10 years and give it to my daughter because I know for sure that it's gonna go back in fashion, you know. Only my mom. But um, anyway, to go back to the color itself, it's also a pointed shape. It's made from the silky fabric that's softer on the skin because you are supposed to put this against your skin under your other clothes. It has this lace detailing around the edges and the back is also like a small sailor color with a square back. And another thing is, when you're wearing it, it is supposed to look like you're wearing an actual shirt, so all these buttons are functional. In fact, you do have to unbutton some of the buttons to get your head through. Unless you have a really small head, I guess. How you put it on is you first put your head through the neck and close the buttons, which is not required you can't leave it open if you prefer it that way and then you tie the waist ribbon in the back like this and usually you are wearing something over the top so you want to leave it kind of lying flat like this so i usually don't tie it right at my natural waist i let it hang down a little bit Since this color has like a bib front, the most obvious way to style it would be with a top that has a lower neckline. This top I'm wearing here is also from Lanvin Collection. It is supposed to be a cardigan, but it's designed so that you can also wear it as a sweater by itself. Then you have a lower v-neck front. It's actually really neat to layer this color under the sweater. I have the look of wearing a full blouse without any added bulk or like, you know, uncomfortable bunching if you were wearing an actual blouse underneath. 
This color also has the same aging down effect that I talked about earlier, probably because it has the lace detailing around the edges and also the sailor back. So the sweater by itself is very clean looking and something you could definitely wear to the office. With the color, it becomes something a much younger person might wear or even like a school uniform. Probably a better example of this aging down effect is with the stress, which is also from Lanvin Collection if you haven't guessed yet. And to be honest, I don't wear it a lot because this like muted mustard shade is absolutely terrible on my skin tone. And the design of the dress is probably a little bit more appropriate for somebody who's like a decade or two older than me. So I had this brilliant idea of layering the color under this dress to act as a buffer between you know, my face color and the color of the dress. Now with the color under the dress, you can really see that it's a lot more youthful looking. And the ivory shade is definitely acting as a buffer between my face and the dress, even though you can't really see it here. So I am really happy with the way that the dress turned out and I'm definitely thinking of wearing it more often just with this color. Even though this color is supposed to be worn inside other tops, I found that it actually doesn't look half bad layered over other tops, especially big turtleneck sweaters. So the one that I'm wearing here, I'm actually not sure where it's from. It's also from my mom and it's a pretty loose oversized sweater. So if I tie the waist loosely so that it's a little bit hanging out in the back instead of like really tightly or just right at my natural waist, then it looks more like an accessory than something I'm supposed to wear under other clothes. This definitely goes with the idea of treating the color as a giant fabric necklace rather than just a portion of a garment. Since I'm treating it as an accessory, I do want it to pop out against the top I'm wearing as a statement necklace. That's why I'm wearing it over a darker color top because my color is almost off-white. But if your color is a darker shade, you might want to go for a lighter top to layer it over. And as for the bottoms, I would probably just go with skirts or culottes just because this particular color is like very feminine looking. The skirt that I'm wearing here is also from my mom. Um, it's from Guho, which is another Korean brand. And I think this is actually really old, like 13 years or older, because I remember my mom wearing it when I was a teenager. So those were some of the more creative ways that I come up with to style my detachable colors rather than just, you know, putting it over a t-shirt. Let me know in the comments if you wear it any other way that you haven't seen anybody else do or also if you have another item that you would like to see me style in different ways. And please subscribe for more styling videos like this. Bye!